Hello, everyone. Welcome to Edit Webinar. Today, we invite uh, Edit uh, Senior Lecturer, Mr. Ke, to speak uh, why you need uh, this connector and uh, is near. The lecture will last uh, one hour. If you have any questions, please leave your message on comment area. Mr. will answer you after the lecture. Uh, thank you for your joining. Now, let's welcome to Mr. Ke. Okay, thank you. Uh, hey guys, uh, today we have a lesson. The uh, topic is why you need this connector and easy near. And I want to talk about the details with the new generation of the bonding system and then your veneer case. And for our dental technician, and uh, from now on, we have so many kinds of materials can use on our restoration. Like if we you want to make a crown or a bridge, you can use like PFM, uh, Zyconia. Uh, if you want to make a single crown or uh, uh, inlay or overlay or veneer, you can use the Lisi Desilicate. And uh, but uh, now, because of the environment of, uh, of course, because of the virus, so we have so many kinds of uh, working flow has been changed. And I will show you, and this is my introduction. And I, after I graduate from the university, I work in the uh, dental clinic and I be the, lab technician for five years and now I have my own lab for five years now and this is all my teachers and thanks for them to teach me all the skills and technique and now this one I want to show you is like our house special and it's from this material, uh, we call it Lisi Connector and Engineer, is made by the iDite. And we have a question, uh, if there is fantastic with bonding porcelain restorations, and uh, can we use it on Zaconia? And why we have this quite kind of questions? Uh, we always, uh, the Zaconia, and uh, we use this material to make uh to make so many kinds of restoration like crown, like bridge, or maybe all on four or uh like implants. And when we use zaconia, uh, we have good strengths. And now we have like three D prosa, and we have a uh, good aesthetic effect. But there's only one thing uh for zaconia is very weak. And it is uh we can now bond it, and the bonding system is when we use on um, zirconia we just use like a resin cement, uh, to get it to uh, with the natural tools together, uh, but we always uh get the feedback from the dentist we can know oh your crowns is we we cannot cement it together it's very hard and like this kind of cementation system like this one is the qr ray and maybe you call it we have mtp materials in this cement but we have a uh, research here and like this one we have uh, a different kinds of primer uh, before you cementation and you can use this primer and it can improve your cement and get your cement to be strong. But uh, here comes the research is uh, we my long get the research is you, you call it, you can see it on the left way. Uh, this uh, the left data is from the manufacturer of the cementation system. You, you can see the Katana QR ray and Inmates Ivo Claw or Lava 3M. They all say their cementation system has very good strength. Like maybe you have 
uh, at least 25 MPAs and to maybe 38. But you can see on the right way, uh, this research, we put the cement, uh, we put a natural tooth and a crown cement together and then put it in the warm water. And it's 37 degrees and for two hours to mimic our overall environment. So you can see uh, there's some cement is come to be more and more weak. And you can see it's only at least to six or seven MPS. And for this kind of situation, we will be confused and there's some problem to us because uh, the dentists do not want the patients come back for only cement. And for us, we will get the command from the dentist because we cannot get the good bonding strength from the zirconia. So that's why we create the Lissy connector here. Okay, you can see. And if we, if uh, the bonding is good on Lissy facilitate because we know the bonding system used on the uh, bonding porcelain restoration have been more and more years, maybe 25 or 30 years. And that's another way we want is, we want to put the lysi desilicate on the zirconia. We want to get these two kinds of materials together. So there's why we have lysi connector. And we can put the lysi connect on the interface of the zirconia crown after we bake it and layers will be, the lysi connect will be a layer in the interface of the zirconia and it can change the surface. And the material, the lysi connect is the same as lysi desilicate, but it's more tiny and it's like we use the nanotechnology. So it's very, very small and we can get very smooth surface. And then it's just like a very smooth lysi desilicate. And then we can got a interface with this desilicate. So we just use the cementation, just like the bonding porcelain restoration. And then we can get very good cement strength. And the first, and we can get this all advantage or of the Lizzy Connect. And you can see here, uh, the upper one is the zirconia. Uh, the upper one is the uh, Lisi connect, and then the lower one is zirconia. And in the middle area is the fusing layer. The fusing layer, the Lisi connect combined with the zirconia. And you can see we got the Victor's hardness and the fracture strength, and it's all very very strong. And that's why if we want to make the least cementation better, we need to use the Lissy connector. Okay, and this one we call is the surface strength. And we can use the Lissy connector and then after 90 seconds etching with primer, and we can cut the same surface just like the Lissy Desilicate. We put it under the microscope and then make it bigger and bigger and we can see uh, the Lissy Connect can fusing into the zirconia and then we can cut the fusing layers to improve the strength. That is why we can get a very good strength from this kind of cementation. 
uh, and what kind of etching can we use uh, for the normal etching for the lysic disilicate? Uh, like if we use the avocado etching gel, oh, and it's fine. Hey, your and I need to say sorry at first, and it it seems like my my PowerPoint didn't working. So I just changed another way to show you. And now we are talking about the etching part. And when we use the avocado etching geos, it's five percent, and we only use it twenty seconds on the lysic desilicate. And now, if we, uh, we if this is the bonding strength, uh, with the lysic desilicate zirconia and zirconia with V primer, and then the final one is we use the zirconia with lysic connector, and then. We use the etching is five percent to etching one hundred seconds, and you can see the strength is stronger than the result part from the lacy desilicate. Okay, and how we use it, and you can see, and this one, this one is the interface of the zirconia veneer and it's just after milling i didn't do any grinding or sandblasting and then you can sh you have to shake the bottle of the vc connector and then you can spread it on the interface and it will become pink and if you want you can spread second times. Uh, one layer of the DC connector is uh, about six micrometer. Six micrometer. Uh, yes, six micro micrometer. And then, if uh, we want uh, our cementation space is about twenty five to thirty micrometers so this one is very thin and it will not influence our cementation space and then after we bake it maybe we can get a rough surface or a smooth surface it's all okay because if you put a uh, like six teeth in the furnace maybe it will become uh, maybe a little rough but if it becomes translucent, it is okay. It will not uh, make our color change. And then this one, uh, we use the etching. After we etching, it will be a little rough than before we etch it. And you can see we compare these two kinds of uh, one is uh, the left way is the initial part, and the right way we use the lysi connector and then bake it after we etching it. Okay, you can see that is different. And here, the first picture is the initial surface of the zirconia. And then after we spread the lysic connect and then bake it, you can see it's very similar like the lysic disilicate. And the third picture is the initial surface of zirconia, and then we use the normal edge to etching it. And you can see the final picture is after 
we use the after etchings of the lacy connector surface. You can see many main uh, the surface become very rough, so our cementation can get more and more stronger than the initial surface. And you can see this one. The first one is we use the image cat block. And after we milling and restinter it, we use the 9.5% HF to etching it. And 20 seconds. And you can see we use the same etching, but we use 90 seconds on zirconia with VC connector surface. It's just, just look like the same. And so we have the strength is like the same or this one will stronger than we use etching on Emacs. So sometimes we will make this kind of bonding restorations like this one is Mullerian Bridge. And you can see if I etching it and non-etching it, it didn't change on its colors. So I can use this very well on our aesthetic part because it will not influence our colors. And then like this one, uh, we have two kind of uh, bonding systems. It, it use the strong acid. But the first one is we got uh, many particles for make make from make of zirconia, and after we sinter it, it will uh, the particle will on the surf inter surface of the crown. But if you, uh, if we use the diamond bird to grind it, it will be broken and dis disappear. And if we use stamp blasting, it will miss too. So for this kind of material, I think is useless on our of workflow. I'm a technician. I do the clinical case every day. So I know this kind of material will not help us to have a better life. And you can see this one. Okay, we use uh, the very strong acid. And you can see uh, in, I'm a uh, owner of the lab. So this kind of strong acid for me is not very, is very dangerous for our employee. Because uh, if uh, it hurts our employee or our technician, they will uh, get sick, they will sick. And I think this kind of material should not appear in our working environment. And you can see here, the uh, powder size of the lithium connector uh, average is to 0 0.8 or 0 to 0 point, 0 0.8 new M. So maybe the bigger one is 0 0.9, and but the smaller one maybe be 0 0.5 mu m. So it is very small because uh, our particle size of the zirconia is about one or one to two mu m. So it's smaller than the particle of zirconia. So when we use the DC connector, it can spread to the surface of the zirconia and then it can get very strong. So I will show you some cases for uh, my clinical part. 
and the first one. Okay, you can see this one is a posterior case, one crown and one on leg. So I will use uh, the digital design at first. I will scan, uh, I will get the oral scan from the patient and then use, uh, I use SOK software to design it. After I design it, I will use uh, the AMD 500DC, the mini machine to mill it, the zaconia and then sinter it. After center it, I got the zaconia, I got the zaconia overlay. And you can see uh, this is the initial surface after I use, uh, I make this overlay trying on the 3D printing model. So there is some shining surface is I use the diamond bird to get the try in. And you can see on the abutment, on the model, it is very, it is fit. The fitness of the overlay is very good. And then you can use something to, uh, I use the, the silicone to make the overlay stable on the table. And then you can use the DC connector. You have you have to notice on um, we need to shake the bottle at first, and then we can put one layers on the interface of this overlay. And then I will put it into the for baking furnace, and I will use uh. The final degrees is 895 degrees to bake it. And then I will get a very shining surface. But we all, when we see there is something on our surface, we always think about the thickness, right? And every time when we think about the thickness, because it will influence our fitness. So if this one is very fit on our abutment, and you can see after I use the DC connector, it still fits on the model. Okay, and then after I finish the DC connector process, I can have the crown and the overlay is fit on the model. And then we got etching. And this one, we got cementation in patient's mouth. On the delivery day, you can see uh, one is crown and one is overlay. And for the occlusion plan part, you can see the color is good. And there's a handle for the crown. It's okay. So why I like to use this kind of workflow? Because now we got more and more oral scan case, right? With oral scan case, if we need to, we, if we can just design on the software without a 3D printing model for the simple case, we can cost more, we, we can cost, cost less money on this on one case, and then we can make more money for our life. That's right. So if I can just design on the software, and then I can get, I can get the, I can use the milling machine to mill the zirconia. Someone will ask me why you didn't milling the, like this is block, but because you have to know, uh, when we milling the zirconia, 
it will be bigger. And after sintering, it will be the normal size. And when we milling the lysic dislocate, we need to use the same size burr to grinding it. So we cannot get the better fit for uh, the, the fit will, will not better than the zirconia. And this one is the posterior cases. And how, how about the anterior case? And this is why we have the second case. The second case, this patient is the, the system, uh, systems for, for a dentist. And you want to change her smile and her color of the tooth. So we will use the DSD part to design the shape and the morphology of the anterior teeth are in her mouth. So this one, this design plan is from the dentist. So I will copy the design plan in our software. Also, we have we need the photo from the patients. So we can match the design plan with her face. But there is something weird why I got the oral scan. And this one is the digital model. Well, after I use the digital model to make a digital wax up. So the dentist will use the wax up to make a silicone key and then mark up in the patient's mouth, right? But there's something strange. The markup in the patient's mouth, it got a little strange. The anterior parts the, the, didn't fit on the midline of the patient's face. So why? There is something wrong with it. Okay, we back to the design plan. The design plan, the dentist just focus on the teeth, right? It got the shape of the size and the shape of the teeth, but he didn't think about the face of the patient. So when we put the design on the face, after we calibrate for the midline, you can see for the patient's midline here, there's maybe two degrees movement of the face. So we got the wrong designs uh, in this case. So we need to correct it. So when I got this one mug up, you, I know I need to correct it on our software when I'm making the final restoration. When I make the re final restorations, I will ask for the pictures from the face is from here. I can use this picture to check the tips of the in, in, incisal edge and the midline of the face and the midline of the interiors. But you know, here is the markup of the, here is the scans of the markup. And when we got this one, and after we design it, we have to know here, we got a little change on it. We need to correct it. So I, when I design it, here you can see design is just a little different from the models of markup. I just move the midline a little bit. And from here, you can see I 
just make a little movement. I want to correct it to make a good result in the patient's mouth. And here I got the prepared tools, the abutment, the color of the abutment is clean and it's white. So I didn't need to cover the root. That is good news because when I need to cover the root, that means this case is more complicated and more difficult. So I got the 3D printing models and I will use the, the articulator for the digital part. It is made by the three shape. And here, after I got the design, I need to milling it. But today you see this kind of preparation, that means I will need to make the veneer, right? And the veneer one, I will use the easy near. And this kind of material is burned, is born for the veneer case when you, you want to use zirconia. For the zirconia, we got very translucent part. You can see the first one is the IPS DMAX CAD BDM1 HT. It, the thickness is 0 0.5 millimeters. And you can see our easy near the third one, the extra white, EW mixed extra white. The extra white, 0 0.5 millimeters. I think it's not translucent like the DMAX CAD but it still have translucent. And extra white, what that means? That means if you want a very white one, you can see the color of the easy near compared with the Emacs. The easy near is more white than the Emacs. And that means if we, today you, we all know when we, you, uh, make the stand or the porcelain, uh, building the porcelain on the Emacs after the baking, and we will got maybe, maybe the value will be lower and lower. So today I will use the easy near because the value is higher and it got the same translucent. So if I can use the zirconia, that means I can, if I, there's other times I need to repair or fix or redo the, this kind of case. I just can get the data with, for the design and then meeting it again. I can copy it very easily. But if I use, uh, for me, uh, the old case for the lacy dislocate, I always use the handmade wax up. Every time when I make the wax up, that means I need to think about the different employees to make the wax up. I got a different result. So today, if I need to make the same quality on our workflow, I think I can use, I can make the zirconia veneer is better to our lab. And then for the easy near, the strength is going to be about 600 MPa. And this one, and you can see I use the cameo is the lacy dislocate material from iDite. And you can see I use the easy near is, is the same translucent on the same thickness. And this one is for the high value part, the heavy high value block, HV block. And here for the preparation, for the preparation, we need uh, to 0 0.2 millimeter to 0 0.4 millimeter. That means we can make very thin veneers for the case. 
And there's different kinds of easy mirrors like we can use. Here, it's got eight kinds of easy mirrors you can use. The EW is the extra white, and the BW is blink white. And we got high value and low value. And here we got the M and the N words for the low lower system. We call it BWM. And what is M mean? The M means the multi, the multi one. So we got the bleach white multi, the high value multi, and the low value multi. And why I show you the 3D Pro, the 3D Pro one, this one is for Hollywood white. If you use the 3D Pro the block, you can, you, you can know the Hollywood white block is very good. It can make many kinds of fantastic case in our life. So if you want to make uh, like covering root case, the root of or the abundant is maybe a little dark or a little brown, and you want to cover it, you can use the 3D probe block to mean the veneers, and then you can cover the roots very easily. For this or other questions is if you want to cover the root, you need the enough thickness. So here's, we will show you, here is which colors do we need to ch choose which block. And for this one, here, when the root is nature, there's a nothing color change on the root. So you can use maybe eat extra white, bleach white, just 0 0.4 millimeters. And I can make the same color with the case. But here is where I can use the multi part to make the nature tooth. If you want all white, like Hollywood white, you can use the extra white and Bleach white. If you want to make more like nature tools, you can use the multi part. If you need color, color cover, color cover, you will see uh, the root is very dark. We got A3.5 root, A4 root, and then brown dark root. And if we we got a 0 0.6 millimeter. You can see the final one, the 3D Pro. We I can cover the roots very easily. It got more value and more white. Okay, so here is the color choosing part. And of course we have shade nature for the easy near. And for this easy, easy mirror part, we got a very unique design on it. We got a different kind of thickness of the shade nature. We got 1.2 millimeters to 0 0.5 millimeters. That it can call you if you, today you want to make a color root a case. You can use the shade matcher to check this kind of block or this kind of material can cover the root or not. Okay. So you can see we have got extra white, bleak white, okay, and a multi part, and then A1, A2, A1, B1, and then Hollywood white. If you want to make a very, very white case, you just use the 3D Pro, the Hollywood white. Okay, and then here, I mill the easy near back to this case. Okay, I use the easy near. And then I will 
make the trying on the digital model at first. And after I use, uh, after trying, I need to got center at first. Why center? Because I will use the Lisi connector at first. Here, I got one layer of the Lisi connector on the interface of the Zyconia. And then I put it in the furnace to center it at 895 degrees for two minutes. And then I check the fit on the model again. And it seems like it will be okay. And then this is my first, I will stand it make a simple stand and then glass it and then make a photo and then put it in the patient's mouth. You can see here, uh, because we got the, this is the delivered photo, so you can see we got a margin. We can see the different kinds of color from the roots and the zirconia veneer. Okay, the surface is very smooth. And compared with the lower part, you can see the color is whiter than the initial one. And I use the biomic to stand it. And now after deliver for one month, you can see the smile is good. Okay. And the conjunction, the junction of the roots and the gingiva, it will be okay. And because uh, the Lyconia is very good to the roots and the gingiva. Okay, and I will show you the final case for today's lesson. And this kind of case is very difficult. Maybe uh, for me, I, maybe I have uh, one or two cases for one month. When we got a patient's those one tools, uh, maybe well, some, some Dentist will have the implant or maybe make the bridge. For, but for this kind of case, if the patient didn't, have, want, have, didn't want to have a surgery, so we can make a Marian bridge. Okay, so we got the model, have the scan it and then design. After meeting it, we can got a body and bridge. And I still make uh, put uh, one layer of Lisi connector on it. And then check it on the model. Okay, the fit is wonderful. And then I will make a stand part. So this is the first stand. And then second stand. And I will check the stand and the aesthetic, aesthetic part and the function part in different kinds of angle and use different kinds of situation. Okay, I will try if I uh, put it on the model, it fit and the guiding plan is good or not because the dentist need to have a segmentation in patient's mouth. If you got the wrong guiding plan, she or she, the dentist cannot put it in the mouth very easily. And here is after it etching. Uh, so after cementation, this is the delivery day. You can see the gingiva didn't fit with the restoration. After one week, you can see the gingiva cover, cover a little on the zirconia. 
And then here, we got a very, uh, the mimic stand to see if the restoration just look like the nature tools. And here, after one month, the gingiva is good with the restoration. And it's just like the nature tools born from the gingiva. And then here is the final one. The final picture we can show the Marion Bridge, just like the natural bone tools fit in the patient's mouth and the color is matched with the anterior part. Okay, and today we got a very easy introduction with the Lisi connector and the easy mirror. And I will use for in my experience, uh, when I need to make the veneer parts, like three to three, the canine to canine, or the, uh, the fourth premolar to fourth premolar cases. And I want to use the design and milling zirconia first. If I cannot design or I need to be use wax up, I think that is more difficult because just what I said, it is hard to repair and fix when you need do it on the case. And the Lisi Connect, uh, we can make the cementation very strong and it's easy to use and it's very safe. It's not, it will not as dangerous as the HF, the strong acid, it will hurt our hands, our skin, and our health. So I will use the Lisi connector at first. And I think it's easy to use, maybe a little expensive, but I think it's worth it. When I want to have a good bonding strength on our cementation, I always use the Lisi connector. Now I have already used the Lisi connector for eight months. Uh, there's no case, there's no cementation broken on my any case. I think that is very, very good. Okay, and then now we have the last 10 minutes and I can see the questions. Is, if, uh, is there any questions? You can type it on the comment area. Is there any questions? Or you can open your microphone to ask me. Of course, in English. Thank you. Oh, I'm a technician. I I'm not only a teacher. I'm, on I'm a technician too. So I do the clinical case every day. And I just want to show you what I do on my workflow and what I use and why I use. I want to use uh, this kind of material to make our lives better. Maybe it will cost a little money, but you maybe after you use it, maybe you can increase your price to the dentist. Is there any questions? I think our audience are all be shy. Is there any questions or I uh for easy nears I can I I can use it to make the like unlay overlay inlay 
or in of course veneer. And for posterior, if if you want to make a crown, just use the 3D processor. Do not use the easy near because uh easy near you need to use uh with the lisi connector to increase the bonding strength for the cementation and it will got it will better than you just use the normal cement on it. OK， 那应该差不多了，因为他们上次问问题问的挺多的，所以我想说留个五到十分钟，就好像他们现在比较少问题。嗯，今天可能。If you uh if if all you guys have any questions want to ask me, maybe you can tell the sales of the iodides in your country and they will show me. Yes. Okay. Okay. Of course. Okay, and thank you for today's lessons. Okay, see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.